Your Excellency, the former President and the Speaker of Parliament. The Honourable Ratu Peli, Honourable Cabinet Ministers, Honourable Members of Parliament, the Chairperson of the Fiji College of Honourable Takanisi Kanrati, and Members of the College, the Honour of the uh, Acting Chief Justice. Your Excellencies, Heads of Missions, High Commissioners and Ambassadors, members of the Diplomatic Corps. Before I proceed any further, I'd just like to acknowledge and thank each and every one of you for gracing this ceremony over the last three days. Thank you for your presence and your support. And on a personal note, to the uh, U.S. Ambassador, Ambassador Oh, I'm so glad to hear that uh, President Trump has been discharged from the uh, Walter Reed Medical Center and is back in the White House. To the Deputy High Commissioner, Australian High Commissioner Ms. Tony, I hope that we'll have a better luck next time. I look forward to um, speaking to uh, my counterpart, General Hurley, the uh, Australian Governor General. Sadly, last night we couldn't. Uh, Make contact. The uh, chaplain of the Republic of the Fiji Middle Forces, Reverend Ilai Tiatuere, the uh, Commander of RFMF, Admiral Nopoto, the Commissioner of Police, Commissioner Tunravo. The recipients of the uh, 50th anniversary of Independence Commemorative Medal members of your respective families, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Nisambul Naka, Namaste, Assalamu Alaikum, Nihau Anwai Mori. And a very good morning to you all. And ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, please allow me to once again acknowledge and commend the good Reverend for his short prayer and the divine and spiritual presentation this morning. As your President and Chancellor of the Order of Fiji, my wife Sarah and I once again, for the third time this week, are extremely pleased, equally honored, and very thankful indeed that we are able to come together as fellow Fijians this morning, in the past two days, to witness the investiture ceremony, to commemorate and celebrate our beloved nation's 50th anniversary of independence, during which to acknowledge and appropriately reward individuals who had served selflessly and contributed immensely towards Fiji's socio-economical and political progress and development of this period with the 50th anniversary independence medal. Furthermore, and as I reminded those who had attended this ceremony over the last two days, that as the Chancellor of the Order of Fiji, I asked the chairperson of the college, Dr. Kanriate, and members of the college that despite a limited number of medals to be presented, they are to ensure that this special and historic commemorative medal is presented to deserving members of the public and the private sector, civil society, and this, ladies and gentlemen, is in conformity with my wish to further nurture and promote its institutions and hopefully our national psyche and our culture of appreciation and inclusivity. Now, for your information, on the 1st of October last week, I traveled with my staff, accompanied by the commander of the RFMF, and the acting commissioner of Fiji police, and some senior government officials to Lebuka, with two aims in mind. First, to begin our journey of celebration, where it all began about 156 years ago, with the signing of the deed of session in the sovereign between the chiefs of Fiji and the representative of the British Crown. And secondly, to reassure the chiefs and the people of Libuka, of governments, and in line with my primary responsibility as your president, and the pillar of national unity, that during this period of national celebrations of commemorating our 50 years of independence, no one and community should be left behind. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the present COVID-19 pandemic has had a profound effect 
on our national plan to commemorate our 50th independence anniversary celebrations, resulting in a somewhat scaled down overall national celebrations program. Now, but this should not dampen our Fijian can do spirit, nor deviate our focus and attention from the fact that within a period of half a century of independence, our young and developing nation has evolved into an acceptable level of universal social, political, economical maturity. Thus, we should all be proud of it in today's unpredictable and uncertain global environment that we live in. Beginning today, we will continue on as we have done over the last couple of days. We will be celebrating a nationwide week long program of events to mark our collective progress and development as a nation and people. A justifiably significant historical occasion which we should be celebrating in style, but for the economic and medical constraints consequent upon the effects of the pandemic, sadly. Now, ladies and gentlemen, most of us who are present here today, which that makes some of us feel very old, should be able to recall that a quarter of a century ago, the then government of the day awarded 755 deserving members of our beloved nation with a similar commemorative medal to mark our first 25 years of independence. I still wear one mine with uh, great pride and hope that those of you who will be honored with the 50th anniversary medal will also share with me the same proud and patriotic feeling that we belong to a nation which cares for its people and rewards them accordingly for their individual and collective efforts at nation building. By doing this, ladies and gentlemen, we are proclaiming to our citizens and our wider global community that this is who we are. This is Fiji, and we are Fiji. A small and developing independent sovereign state, which is punching well above its weight, in leading the world community by passionately addressing some global problematic issues, like today's present, real, and very serious threat to the survival of humanity and that of climate change. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my humble opinion that despite the new norm, which has been unfortunately imposed upon humanity by the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic, we can still rejoice and celebrate certain events in life by being positive and firm in our faith in the Almighty that our beloved Fiji is blessed. And as a nation and people, we should be forever grateful, hope and embrace the future together, and believe that the next 50 years and beyond, the journey ahead would be peaceful and equally prosperous. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations once again to the, all the recipients. And I look forward to the next couple of days in which my staff and I will be traveling to other parts of our country to present other deserving members of our various communities with their 50th year's <coughs> commemorative independence medals, Nasavalyavu, Tanya Wad, Shea Shea, Fayaksha. Thank you all and God bless. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.